So let's begin with what exactly is a smart city? Um, they were previously named digital cities, and they're basically just a con collection of ICT, which is information and communication technologies. Now, that includes sensors, software, uh, networks, and an example would be real-time surveillance for law enforcement. Um, their goal is for social and economic development with the least environmental impact, and it's, it's the main goal, environmental impact for a growing in population in a dense metropolitan area. To better illustrate the concept of a smart city, I thought I'd all have a little thought exercise with you. Let's imagine you live in a smart city. So, you wake up to go to work. Your lights and other non-essential electrics switch off when the smart grid detects you have left your room. The building software sees you have left and knows to alert you by text if someone comes to your door. You hail an Uber that was in very close proximity because Uber's algorithm sees a consistent source of demand from your street corner at this time. The Uber is automated, which means you get there in a quicker and safer manner than if a human would arrive. You arrive at work and have a productive day. When you leave, the Uber is again close by, and when you get home, your grid turns on because it knows you are home. Electricity was saved. But, what if these technologies were not utilized ethically? Let's run through that same scenario again with the techno technologies being used in unethical ways. You wake up and the power is out because a wealthier section of town is needing more power than normal. You get ready in the dark and leave for work. The building software sees you leave and collects this data to sell to advertisers and government agencies. You hail an Uber, but your apartment is in a neighborhood with a higher than average number of carjackings, so Uber does not service it. You walk a few blocks to get to an area Uber will service. Your car's self-driving algorithm is a learning algorithm and it is quite new. A pattern of traffic that it has never encountered before leaves you late for work. And when you finally get to leave your place of work, it logs your exit and it notes that you are leaving work much earlier than the rest of your coworkers. So what is ethics? Uh, hopefully the example Tyler just highlighted um, really went over the importance of ethics in these systems. So ethics is the moral principles that govern a person's behavior or the conducting of an activity. Uh, in specific, we're gonna discuss four major ethical concepts. First one's privacy, and that's basically just uh, the release of data that belongs to a person. Um, safety, obviously the safety of the people using the systems must be um, discussed. The security of both the systems and the people, and discrimination because these systems are able to learn uh, discriminational uh, information. So, in order to use these systems ethically, um, ethical integration is a huge part of the topics. So, on the right, you see a picture about the trolley problem, which is basically it's a really old philo philosophical problem. So, if this was controlled by a system, it would have to determine which uh, which of these uh, which of these um, paths would be priority. So, you can see there's five people in the way of the trolley, or there's one, and so. It could use a lot of uh, features to determine this. Like I said, like discrimination is a huge thing, and if if these um, aren't handled, then a huge issue can come into play with like future technologies, or if the technologies are even allowed to be used anymore. So the biggest challenges that we noticed uh, to ethics in smart cities would be the skill and wealth inequality, age discrimination, data storage, collection, access, and sharing. And um, the two that we picked out as the primary ones would be organization and collection. Now, um, the applications that exist right now, there's no standard for the storage, and when they do collect it, it's all over the place. Um, and since smart cities are still emerging technologies, you wanna have a way to uh, quantify how well they're doing, and without a standard way to store the data and collect it, it's very hard to collect what you need to determine if the investment is worth it at the time. And that would be a presentation. Thank you. Thank you.